Welcome to Miss Valley Entertainment's Newses uh, section here on Weird News. Uh, and the date today is September the 7th, 2023. Let's get into it. We got three stories to run through. So, first one is Hank the Tank. The uh, bear behind 21 home invasions has been captured near Lake Tahoe. This was actually on August 7th. The large black bear, who is believed to be a notorious bandit and a hungry, uninvited house guest, was apprehended by wildlife biologists on Friday. Here is a picture of the bear. Authorities in the town of South Lake Tahoe, California, have been on the lookout for exceptionally large animals since February of 2022, after they reported that one single male bear had been the cause of 152 reports of conflict behavior, including 28 home break-ins. They referred to the animal as Hank the Tank, setting off the Internet's affection. It turns out those initial assessments, based solely on visual information, were conflating three bears with a similar pattern of behavior and incorrectly assuming that all the bears were male. DNA testing confirmed that the bear captured on Friday, who was formerly known as Bear 64F, was a female behind at least 21 cases of breaking and entering. What's more, she was trespassing with three young cubs in tow, according to the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, or the CDFW. The agency typically euthanizes so-called conflict bears due to the significant risks they pose to the community, but Bear 64F is no ordinary conflict bear. The more homes that were vandalized in the ritzy waterfront community of Tahoe Keys, about 100 miles east of Sacramento, the more of the public came to the defense of Hank the Tank, blaming the bear's behavior on unsecured garbage cans and habitat encroachment. The CDFW cited widespread interest in Bear 64F as the reason it intends to relocate her to a Colorado sanctuary once she has received veterinarian clearance. Colorado Governor Jared Polis welcomed the move in a tweet saying he'd welcome Henrietta the Tank. The three male cubs who tagged along on several break-ins will also be relocated and re rehabilitated. No more breaking in for you, young bears. And CDFW hopes it can one day be returned to the wild, having regained a fear of humans. One of the cubs appeared to have suffered serious injuries from a vehicle strike earlier this month, according to the agency. Given her diet, it's perhaps no surprise that Bear 64F chose the space under a Tahoe Keys home for her den. Ooh. After she was discovered there in March, local biologists used the moment to immobilize her, collect her DNA, attach an ear tag, and affix a satellite tracking collar. The collar slipped off two months later, but the data collected helped differentiate Bear 64F from an ursine population numbering roughly 500 in the Lake Tahoe region. According to one resident of the area, at least one of the Hanks had a hankering for dessert. The bear ate a two-gallon tub of ice cream from her neighbor's trash can. And catch this last line in the article. The community of Tahoe Keys has since revised a policy that previously forbade residents from using temporary storage structures, including bear boxes. 500 bears. A whole bunch of break-ins, and they forbid the people from being able to lock up their garbage. What? Once again, that there is a bear we're talking about. Next article. And all three of these articles will be linked down below if you want to check them out yourself. People vow to turn vegetarian after learning how hot dogs are made. Hey, a little informative news. As the hot weather continues, some people may be planning a barbecue to celebrate what looks set to be an Indian summer. And in addition to burgers, ribs, and corn on the cobs, sausages are an essential part of the menu. However, have you ever stopped to think about how the wieners that go into hot dogs are made? A video put together by the Discovery Channel has revealed exactly what the process is. After seeing some viewers' comments, you might not want to know. In the short documentary, the narrator explains that the humble snack was probably invented by the Germans. But there are records of people selling them from a cart to New York neighborhoods as far back as 1860. More than 170 years later, they are still as popular as ever. According to a video, an average sausage contains beef, pork, and chicken, and is created from the trimmings left over from steaks or pork chops. Described as mainly muscle tissue, 
It's all mixed together in a grinder before the processed chicken trimmings are added. Food starch, salt, and flavorings like mustard are then added before water is stirred into the vat of mixture. It's then revealed that corn syrup is added for a little sweetness, some more water to make the concoction juicier, and then everything is ground down a bit more until it resembles a liquid emulsion. Once the puree is ready, it goes into what's known as the stuffing machine, where it is pumped into cellulose casings to give it a shape, twisting it every 13 centimeters, the length of one hot dog. It takes roughly 35 seconds to make a chain of sausages that would span a football pitch twice. At this point, the wieners are put through several other machines, including liquid smoke, to add more flavor before they're baked. After cooking, they're then drenched in cold, salty water, unpeeled, and packaged to be sold. The extraordinary process, which produces around 3 million sausages a day, appeared to delight some people, but quite a few others were put off. One person wrote, This is enough to make me go vegetarian. Another viewer added, I don't think I'm ever going to eat hot dogs again. And someone else penned, A video confirmation of why I do not eat hot dogs anymore. Everyone, you're welcome, and now you're in the know. Last article. Nebraska police issue citation to driver with bull riding shotgun. Some police officers in Nebraska recently had the weirdest traffic stop ever, and that's no bull. Sorry, actually, there was a bull, and it was riding shotgun in a car along Route 275 near Norfolk Wednesday morning, News Channel Nebraska reported. Oh, you want to see a picture of this, don't you? You do. There it is. Norfolk officials responded to a call about a vehicle with a cow inside rolling through the town, and they assumed they would encounter a smaller animal, Denver NBC affiliate KUSA reported. They thought that it was going to be a calf, something small or something that would actually fit inside the vehicle, Captain Chad Ryman told News Channel Nebraska. Instead, they saw Howdy Doody, a full-size Watusi bull owned by Lee Mayer of Nailey. Nilai? Nilai. We have Nilai. Uh, Riemann said the officers carried out a traffic stop and addressed some traffic violations that were occurring with that particular situation. <laughs> Can you spot the traffic violations, people? Can you spot them? This is on your driver's test, so pay attention. Meyer was only given a warning, not a moving violation. I'm sorry, that's how it's written and asked to take Howdy Doody back home and out of the city. Howdy Doody is a celebrity in his hometown, often appearing at parades, but the bull's fame apparently hadn't reached Norfolk at the time of his joyride, according to Meyer's wife, Rhonda Meyer. I get a phone call at work from my son wanting to know if his dad's in jail, she told News Channel Nebraska. Someone sent this news to him, and so yeah, it just kind of went downhill from there. I have so, so many questions from this picture. So, so many questions. Everybody, this is your, your, your look at some weird news stories. Here from uh, Miss Valley Entertainment News, uh, my name is Dredd. We'll catch y'all later. Bye-bye.